hereby called to order. Please rise for the prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Our Father, who art in heaven, as a body we congregate in these council chambers, we pray for thy divine guidance that we may do all things well according to thy holy will. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Justice. Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonsall. Yes. Mr. Clark. Here. Mr. Thompson. Here. Ms. Stevenson. Present. Mrs. Hanrahan. Here. Mr. Sanker. Here. Mr. Breed. Here. All members are present. We have a couple of requests to amend the agenda. The first is to add under introductory readings of ordinances. An ordinance authorizing the Director of Public Service Safety to prepare and submit an application to participate in the Ohio Public Works Commission State Capital Improvement and or Local Transportation Improvement Programs and to execute contracts as required and declaring an emergency. If uh, so moved, that would be GA2. Also a, to add a communication, a letter from Mayor Williams regarding an update on the water tanks. And I would suggest that communication number four, a letter from the service safety director regarding the Norwood Community Center, be read before consideration of ordinance J1, since it directly uh, refers to uh, that ordinance. Ms. Stevenson. I move that the agenda be amended as you indicated. Seconded by Mr. Sanker. Is there any discussion? On the roll, please. Mr. Bonswell. Yes. Mr. Clark. Yes. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Stevenson. Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan. Yes. Mr. Sanker. Yes, sir. Mr. Breeden. Yes, sir. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. We have three sets of minutes, one from August 13th regular meeting, the August 20th special meeting, and the August 27th regular council meeting. These were all emailed to you in advance. Mr. Bonsall. Thank you, Madam President. I move that we uh, approve all three uh, minutes as if read. Seconded by Mr. Clark. Is there any discussion? Ms. Stevenson. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, getting to the set. Um, I did not get a chance to submit uh, these edits to the Clerk of Council, but I believe on page on the August 27th, 2019 set of minutes on page two, section two, uh, there is a comment halfway down. I believe it's referring to the city of Cincinnati has made an offer to loan a professional to handle the water situation in Norwood. Can you clarify if that is what that is indicating? Uh, how far down is it? Um, the second paragraph starts with Mr. Sanker stated, about eight lines down. Mr. Bonsell stated the city has an offer. I think that's referring to the city of Cincinnati offering a loan to loan, loan a person to Norwood. Is that what that is indicating? Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I, I did not get a chance to submit this, but I, I'd like to request that the, min, the statement be amended to say the city of Cincinnati. And then one more, um, the next paragraph that starts with Ms. Can you hold on here? Sure. When you say that Mr. Bonsall stated the city has an offer, you mean you want to add the city of Cincinnati? Correct. I believe that's what was being indicated. But the way it's written, it doesn't indicate a city other than Norwood. But Cincinnati has offered. If, the city of Cincinnati. Yes. If I may. If we'll okay. we'll rework that. So the Maybe it's the city of Cincinnati has offered. offered. Yeah. There we go. Because it didn't make sense to just add that. The next paragraph that starts with Ms. Stevenson, uh, the fourth line, I believe it should be reading that council is interested in moving beyond what is already in place. Gotcha. 
those were the two amendments that I wanted to request when considering adopting all three sets of minutes. Mr. Rondel, Rondel, do you agree to amend your motion to uh, accept those minutes as amended? Yes, Madam President. And Mr. Clark? Yes. Okay. So the motion on the floor then is to approve the three sets of minutes as amended, uh, as the August 27th um, as amended. Is there any discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonzo? Yes. Mr. Clark? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Stevenson? Yes. Mrs. Hanerhan? Yes. Mr. Sanker? Yes. Mr. Brady? Yes. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. I have no request to address uh, council or reports of standing committees. Um, we'll move on to introductory readings of ordinances. And that is an ordinance authorizing the service safety director to enter into a contract with J.K. Muir for the repaving and relining of the community center parking lot and declaring an emergency. There is a letter attached. Would you like us to read the correspondence first? Yes, go ahead. Dear Madam President and members of council, this is to inform you that the bid price to resurface the Norwood Community Center lot with two inches of asphalt has been opened. The total cost is $57,305 from the bid. The total CDBG approved is $55,000 to spend this year. In the bid estimate, there was a $4,000 contingency which won't be needed. Therefore, if you take the $4,000 from the bid, the cost will be $53,305, which also includes relining the parking lot. I am requesting approval to enter into contract to get the lot completed this year. Sincerely, Joseph C. Gears, Director, Public Service Safety. Mr. Sanker. Recommend a letter be received and filed. Seconded by Mr. Thompson. Is there any discussion? Mr. Thompson. I just have a question about this grant. Is, is it one that requires any matching funds from the city? No. It's just a straight up? Grant. Correct. Okay, great. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? The motion on the floor is to receive and file the letter. Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonzo. Yes. Mr. Clark. Yes. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Stevenson. Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan? Yes. Mr. Sanker? Yes. Mr. Breeden? Yes, sir. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. We now will move on to consideration of the ordinance. It's your pleasure. Mr. Thompson? I will move we suspend the rules and have all three readings of the ordinance. Seconded by Mr. Sanker. Is there any discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonzo? Yes. Mr. Clark? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Stevenson? Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan? Yes. Mr. Sanker? Yes. Mr. Breed? Yes, sir. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. Please have all three readings. Ordinance authorizing the service safety director to enter into a contract with J.K. Muir for the repaving and relining of the community center parking lot and declaring an emergency. Ordinance authorizing the service safety director to enter into a contract with J.K. Muir for the repaving and relining of the community center parking lot and declaring an emergency. Ordinance authorizing the service safety director to enter into a contract with J.K. Muir for the repaving and relining of the community center parking lot and declaring an emergency. Mr. Bonsall? Uh, thank you, Madam President. Um, I move that the resolution be passed. The ordinance? Ordinance, excuse me. Be passed. Thank you. Seconded by Mrs. Hanrahan. Is there any discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonsall? Yes. Mr. Clark? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Stevenson? Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan? Yes. Mr. Sanker? Yes. Mr. Breeden? Yes, sir. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. We move on to the ordinance which was added, an ordinance authorizing the Director of Public Service Safety to prepare and submit an application to participate in the Ohio Public Works Commission State Capital Improvement and or Local Transportation Improvement Programs and to execute contracts as required and declaring an emergency. This is um, to submit an application as needed for um, financial assistance to, um, it looks like, for Indian Mound. Mr. Clark. Thank you, Madam President. I move to suspend the rules and have all three readings of this ordinance. Seconded by Mrs. Hanrahan. Is there any discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonsall? Yes. Mr. Clark? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Stevenson? Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan? Yes. Mr. Sanker? Yes. Mr. Breeden? Yes, sir. 
All members present voting aye. The motion carries. Please have all three readings. Ordinance authorizing the Director of Public Service Safety to prepare and submit an application to participate in the Ohio Public Works Commission State Capital Improvement and or local transportation improvement programs and to execute contracts as required in declaring an emergency. Ordinance authorizing the Director of Public Service Safety to prepare and submit an application to participate in the Ohio Public Works Commission State Capital Improvement and or local transportation improvement programs and to execute contracts as required in declaring an emergency. Ordinance authorizing the Director of Public Service Safety to prepare and submit an application to participate in the Ohio Public Works Commission State Capital Improvement and or local transportation improvement programs and to execute contracts as required in declaring an emergency. Mr. Sanker? Recommend the ordinance be passed. Seconded by Mr. Braden. Is there any discussion? Mr. Thompson? Um, just a quick question. Um, the second where as where is the city of Norwood is planning to make capital improvements to the Indian Mound Streets Improvement Project. Has anybody seen the Indian Mound Streets Improvement Project plan? I think it I don't think it says that there's a plan that's just a project to do is my understanding mr uh, i'm sorry what was Moore? I, i'm not sure i understand the question i'm just curious i'm all for capital improvements especially when it comes to getting money uh from the state i just there's there's no detail in what the indian mound streets improvement project might be it could be anything from fixing curbs to paving the road it all needs done i'm just curious if we have any idea what that is uh man I, I my my guess would be that that would be kind of the heading under which the application is made and the application would be for as much as you can give us to do as much work as we possibly can and then we'll see what comes back gotcha thank you thank you mr Moore. Mm -hmm. mr sanker yes, but this just authorizes them to submit for the request not guaranteed you're going to get anything for but that's how some of the other streets we've been able to do um, but you need authorization to, to present the application so. okay. thank you thank you mr sanker any other discussion no the motion on the floor is to pass the ordinance call the roll please mr bonzo yes mr clark yes mr thompson yes Ms. Stevenson. Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan. Yes. Mr. Sanker. Yes. Mr. Braden. Yes. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. We have no administration reports or requests to address council, so we'll move on to unfinished business, that being the standing rules of council. Ms. Stevenson, this has been your uh, <laughs> project. <laughs> yes. Thank you. It's been a collaborative effort. I think it was. Um, in the law ordinance and HR committee and then reported out. So I do want to acknowledge the other members of the committee had a hand in the discussion. And I think we even took some suggestions from the conversation when it was referred into, but I, I would like to ask through the chair to the members of council if there is any more discussion. And I'd like to acknowledge that um, when you all asked me to um, update them about um, minutes and things um, we also talked and, and why we were going to executive session the law department reviewed these and they made those suggestions of listing specifically why we could go into executive session and they reviewed the other um, changes that we had made and I want to acknowledge their participation in that process and their guidance and making sure that they were correct so the product that you have before you was um, approved by them so if anyone else has any other um, questions or comments. Ms. Stevenson. I move that we adopt the newly revised standing rules of council. Seconded by Mr. Thompson. Is there any discussion? Ms. Stevenson. Yes. Um, should these be approved tonight, I'd like to request that the clerk of council post these revisions, not just as a well, I guess it wouldn't technically be an ordinance, but post them onto the council website as well. I'll take care of that. Thank you. Thank you. It's like having a baby. It's taking so long. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any other discussion? 
the motion on the floor then is to adopt the uh, new the revised standing rules of council as presented. Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonzo. Yes. Mr. Clark. Yes. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Stevenson. Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan. Yes. Mr. Sanker. Yes, sir. Mr. Brayton. Yes, sir. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. Is there any other unfinished business? Any unfinished business? We will move on to new business, and I have some very good new business for you. Mr. Thompson, you don't know about this yet. I just got notified of this about 4 o'clock this afternoon. So Mr. Thompson and I have been, and, and the Parks and Playgrounds Committee, along with um, ASAP Norwood, have been working for a long time to try to get the uh, basketball hoops um, replaced down at Waterworks Park and the mayor has agreed to do that and we wanted to make sure that we did it correctly that we have nice um, as I referred to New York City tough basketball hoops and rims um, that will withstand all of the kids and young men and women who will be down there playing it is quite an expensive venture, and if you've been down there, the courts have deteriorated. There's cracks all over them. So we initially started out, how can we just replace the basketball hoops? That was our, We were happy to just do that. Um, through our involvement with ASAP Norwood, which, by the way, stands for Activating Substance Abuse Prevention, um, they've been very active for about the past uh, four or five years. And so Interact for Health has some grant opportunities. There are areas of focus um, primarily um, are around tobacco um, prevention, um, opiate use, decreasing opiate use, and school-based health centers. And so um, ASAP Norwood submitted an application um, for the basketball hoop saying that if we kept kids occupied, it would address tobacco, it would, uh, it would address the opioid, opioid use, and um, in the past they had a strategy about um, active living and nutrition. Um, initially, the $7,500 that the Gem of the Highlands gave us was matched right away. So we had $15,000 right off the bat. And they invited us to submit an application, another application. Um, and so I um, filled out a requisition from the city for $12,000, which was approved. The Norwood Police Association and the Norwood Fire Association each have committed $2,500 toward the project. And with the, the $7,500 from Gem of the Highlands, um, that was matched. And then there, were, uh, there was an individual donation and two churches that amounted to another $1,000. We initially asked Interact for Health for $14,000, and they said, maybe you should ask for more. And so this afternoon at their board meeting, we were approved to receive $22,000 for Interact for Health. <laughs> um, it's about 19,000, this is crazy, it's $19,000 for, for four hoops, for four new basketball hoops. They will remove the old ones. Um, that are two and three feet down in concrete, so they'll, they'll remove those. Um, put up the new basketball hoops that are, are gonna be two or three feet behind the line, which will make it much safer for, for people to play. Instead of having the pole right on the out of bounds line, they're gonna be two or three feet behind and then curve up. It's about $27,000 to resurface correctly and seal. Um, so that's about $46,000 and the additional money um, there is an organization in, that it's based out of Covington who will be doing some focus groups to see if we want to paint, either have art on the basketball court itself or around the basketball court and between the basketball courts in the center circle um, with the additional money, um, we'll be doing that kind of work. So um, I think this, we've been in, con in uh, contact with the um, contractor that we got bids from, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be done before, at least the basketball hoops will be installed before the end of the year. The painting probably won't be done until next year, um, but I wanted to share that really good news with you <laughs> and Mr. Thompson smiling. Um, so uh, we've been working really, really hard on this, and I, wanna, I just wanna give a shout out to Lauren um, Bart Bartosek, um, for leading the charge on this, and for Mary Francis at Interact for Health. Um, they have been fabulous people to work with, and it's not often that a grantee says, maybe you should ask for more money. So 
they were very um, impressed by the commitment from all of the parties involved. Um, and so basically the city of Norwood is gonna get a first class, two first class basketball courts at a $12,000 cost to the city of Norwood. So kudos to everybody involved. Mr. Thompson, you had something to say? Yeah, I just, one is fantastic. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. That's, yeah. that's great. Um, and I just wanted to, again, call out the, the 5K. Um, it was their initial contribution that sort of kick-started everything. We had talked and we had wanted and, and we were looking <laughs> and, and they stepped up and, and put in that initial. Without that, the, you know, they got the ball rolling. Without that, the, we wouldn't be here. So a huge debt of gratitude is owed to them. I just wanted to thank them. Thank you. Thank you. And um, there is actually a sign company that we're working with who will donate signs <laughs> um, that will list all of the donors so that when people go to play there, they will know it's compliments of these um, different individuals or groups. So uh, very good news. And you're, you're absolutely correct, Mr. Thompson. Without the Gem of the Highlands initial stake, none of this would have happened. So um, walk, <laughs> run, whatever when uh, this year. Um, great cause. So thank you. Ms. Stevenson. Thank you, Madam President. That is a wonderful update. Um, I want to ask a couple of questions in terms of how do we build on that? Um, just last week, I was approached by some residents in Ward 1 who would love to take on putting in new basketball hoops down in Millcrest. And so I'm wondering if there's a point person from ASAP, yourself, where can we go from here so that our other parks can be addressed as well? Um, I think the reason that um, the administration and the police department both agreed that Waterworks Park was the ideal location, is that in the past when the basketball hoops were taken down, it was because of um, some unsavory activity that was taking part, taking place in the parks on the basketball courts. Um, and it was difficult for the police to, um, to like monitor the area because if you think of all of our parks, they're kind of on the outside of town. They're all around the outside of town. Um, and so Waterworks Park was thought to be the best place to at least begin and see how it goes. It's a, it's a human experiment, I guess, if you want to call it. Um, because it will be much easier for the police to patrol. It's an active place where people are all the time. In the summer, there's a swimming pool. In the fall, the kids are playing football, um, soccer. People are walking the track. There are baseballs, you know, baseball fields, tennis courts. It's an, a an area where there's going to be a lot of activity and so less likely to be criminal activity. Um, and I think we need to see how this plays out. It is a human experiment, and hence why we spent $19,000 on four basketball hoops because in the past what happened was people were hanging on the rims and they would break them. And there was, an or there was a, Mr. Linder and his group kept replacing them and replacing them until finally they said, we're not doing it anymore because the rims keep getting broken. So, I, you know, I think we need to wait and see what happens down there. And it, all this was done in conjunction with the administration and the police department to make sure that they were comfortable with the placement of it. Would you agree, Mr. Thompson? Uh, yes, I would. And, and as a matter of fact, we kind of, part of how we sold it in was this being a test. Part, part of how we sold it in was that this was a test to see how it went. I told you I would love to see this continue to go and be able to move out to other parts of the city. Um, but I, part of the deal, I guess, was let's see how it goes here. Yes, Ms. Stevenson. Thank you. Just to follow up on that, I appreciate the, the context, the reminder of the context on how we got here, and I'm glad that there's a will to give it a test. Does anyone know what we're looking for and when we're going to test so that we can kind of anticipate what comes next? One of the challenges in waiting is there are children who live in West Norwood who will not be going over to Waterworks. Either they're not supervised to get over there, they don't have transportation, and they literally have neighbors who would be willing to go to the park with them. And so I'm mindful that we are making progress, but I also want to stay attentive to what can be a realistic next step. What should I be looking for? What should I be telling my residents that needs to happen so that they're aware they're not being left out? Hi. Again, I can appreciate that, but I, we're going on the advice again of the police department and it's the human experiment and see how it works out. We want it to be successful, hence why we got the really good 
hoops. We want it to be a successful venture. And then I guess that would be up to the next administration and uh, in conjunction with the police department as to how to proceed from there. And hopefully, we all want it to be successful, so hopefully it will be. Thank you. Mrs. Hanrahan? Thank you. It is exciting news. I'm glad to hear this is finally happening. And my news isn't quite that exciting. <laughs> the mammogram van <laughs> is going to be at the community center on September 19th. Um, the phone number is 584-PINK five, or 7465. It's an easy 20 minutes in and you're out. Thank you, Mrs. Hanrahan. September the 19th. Do you have times? No, that I do not have. I think it's in the morning. I should say I do know. It's in the morning. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Hanrahan. Hey, Mr. what are we likely about? <laughs> Mr. Thompson. Usually it's a number making it. Um, yeah, um, normally I would just send an email about this, but since we're all here today, um, it was noted uh, I, I saw somebody post this online, and, and I've noticed it myself. The, the lines on Montgomery Road out here um, at the at the uh, intersection of Smith, I think Smith, um, northbound, uh, they're gone. And there's a, a weird way that when you're coming northbound that the lanes jog there. And I see people all the time coming out of the left lane and going straight into the right lane. Um, and I, I just request to the, uh, the the safety service director to take a look at that and maybe repaint the lines in that area. Right by Surrey Square? Right, 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 Surrey Square. Right out from where uh, KFC and Taco Bell is. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Mr. Braden? Thank you, Madam President. That's uh, that's really great news, man. Congratulations, Mr. Thompson and Ms. Lake. I'm, I'm actually tearing up over that. I, I played ball on the courts as a young man. And that is really great news. I plan on doing that again. <laughs> so I'm gonna get the old guys together. They're still around. But uh, that's really that's really great news. Nice work. Congratulations. And just as an aside, probably in the spring, um, we talked about the ASAP group talked about as a way to kick off um, that maybe have a three-on-three -three tournament or something like that. So that watch great. for that. Count me in. Um, <laughs> I, I have Thank something you. else. Um, so I, um, an incident came to my attention uh, on Carthage Avenue. There was some dirt bikes uh, racing up and down Carthage Avenue, causing some problems, and I was made aware of that. So I, I did some research on the, on the, the incident, and I, I met with uh, Norwood Police today. And my first question, because there was a lot of lot of input on you know that I noticed online, people were really concerned about this. So the first thing I wanted to know is is, is this an ongoing thing? I asked the police department, uh, the person that I met with, is this an ongoing thing or is this a one-time one -time incident? And the, uh, the response I got was this was a one-time incident, so it's not a chronic thing happening, so that was good news there. So it was a one-time incident. Another um, response was that the Norwood police took took uh, pretty long to show up on the scene. and. What I gather from, from that is, and I just wanted to get this out there for anyone who cares or, or anybody that was uh, participating in that online conversation, there was another run on the other side of Norwood, shots fired. So at the same time, we had our, our officers showing up on a shots fired um, scene, as, and then we had a run on uh, kids riding dirt bikes. So I believe the response time is, is due to the shots fired. So I wanted to get that out there in, in defense of our police department. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I wanted to say. And uh, that's, that's my response. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Braden. Ms. Stevenson. Thank you, Madam President. I want to express thanks to um, our Public Works Department. Um, a few weeks back, um, we had a new school open in West Norwood, the Azalea Montessori School, and knowing that children would be present, they came out um, rather quickly, especially coming off of a holiday weekend, and made sure that there were new crosswalk lines, so um, it's possible. 
um, it's happening and I just want to um, express my gratitude for that. Um, the school does take field trips and it was brought to my attention today by both the school and by a parent of a child at the school that their field trip to Upper Millcrest was not successful. Um, it was not mowed. Um, there was missing mulch to the extent that mulch should be this high was actually literally visible and some of the equipment was in disrepair and so while I'm really grateful and thankful that we've had um, responsiveness. Um, I just want to name that residents are bringing to my attention the condition of the park and so I want to make it known that um, there has been a request to address those things. Um, in our Ward 1 Community Council meeting, um, about a, I guess the last one, another resident brought to my attention that the steps had not been repaired in between Lower Millcrest and Upper Millcrest and so I reached out and found out about that. The project has not been initiated due to funding. Um, I know that it was in our capital improvement plan and so I just wanted to name that in this meeting and ask that um, the chair of finance when we meet again as a committee we revisit the plan get a better update on what resources might be available at this point in time given any outstanding costs that have been incurred since the plan was drafted because that's that's an impediment to use of the park and it is a safety hazard and so I want to keep that on our radar in case we need to come up with an alternative funding source or look at shifting some of the um, allocations that have been made. Um, just want to close out general infrastructure um, updates by saying if you are, especially if you're in Ward 1 and you see there is a missing crosswalk or I had someone named to me the other day like a one-way sign was too far down the street to prevent people from turning the wrong way. Please raise that to my attention or any council member really. We'd like to be able to have a concerted, proactive approach. So, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Stevenson. Mrs. Hanrahan. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I would like to comment on Mr. Breeden's uh, about the police officers delay. I want to let people know we are also down several cars right now and some of the officers are doubling up. Um, so that may have um, some cause for the incident. Also, what Ms. Um, Stevenson said, I did have a question about crosswalks on Montgomery Road. Is the city responsible for those crosswalks or, or is ODOT? Well, I'm sure we are. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the city of Norwood is. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Henry. Any other new business? Mr. Sanker. Madam President, yes, uh, you and Mr. Thompson alluded to uh, the Gem of the Highlands 5K was kind of like the instigator for the, the project and the, began the funding. I think uh, we ought to at least acknowledge that coming up in November, I believe it's November the 2nd, they'll be uh, holding their their next 5Ks. I believe you can already register online, but it will be held again on uh, November the 2nd this year, and hopefully it'll be a little warmer than last year. Please. <laughs> it was freezing. Thank you, Mr. Sanker. Mr. Thompson. Yeah, and just to add that uh, part of their mission statement is to give money back to city parks. That's what they want to do with Right. the money that they raise doing this so it, you, you're going to help the city when you run I believe part of the money also besides going to the basketball hoops went for mulch as well didn't mm -hmm. it yes for the parks thank you thank you mr. Thompson mr. Braden uh, thank you madam president I just wanted to make uh, council aware um, on the 24th our meeting on the 24th I will not be able to attend that meeting so if there's any any business that anyone needs to, to get with me before the meeting or I will not be attending that meeting. Thank you. I appreciate that knowing that in advance. Thank you, Mr. Braden. Any other new business? Ms. Stevenson. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I uh, mentioned the Ward 1 Community Council meetings earlier. Um, we are scheduled to meet on Thursday, September 26. The location is to be determined and so I'll have that finalized location on September 24 when we have our next regular meeting but if folks are not aware we have a monthly Ward 1 Community Council meeting I'm there we're typically bringing in other updates a review of what's happened at this regular meeting as well and that will be Thursday September 26 it'll be from 7 to 8 p.m. Thank You Miss Stevenson yes thank you Madam President so at our um, mm, at one of the last three meetings we had, I think it was our regular meeting, 
um, the first regular meeting of August. Um, it was referred to economic development and community engagement and discussion about off-pike markets proposal to enter into a lease with the city. Um, at least that was what we were being asked to consider that night. So I want to uh, name that that agenda item will be added to others at our next regular meeting. Typically we meet um, the first Thursday of the month. So I'm looking to check in with the members of the committee with, with Thursday, October 3rd be a time that you can be available. I believe we would be hearing from HCDC at that point in time, their final report on the small business support and retention program. We'd be touching base on off Pike and we'd be revisiting our discussion around the negotiation committee. That's what I recall, but definitely we'll notice the meeting as we get closer. But that date looks okay? Got a one, two? Yes, ma'am. Some ma ma thumbs up, okay. Yes, so the meeting will definitely take place then on Thursday. Um, October 3rd at um, um, we typically meet at 7 p.m. Okay. Here in council chambers? Here in council chambers, yes. And then as we get closer, I'll make sure I finalize the agenda items. I'll try and announce those at our next regular meeting. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Stevenson. Thank you, Madam President. Mr. Bonsall? Um, thank you, Madam President. Um, I know that we're going to be hearing a letter from the mayor regarding the water uh, at a communication. Uh, however, I think it... Uh, from my understanding, from an email from him, he has vetoed one of our resolutions from our... I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Did, did the mayor veto a resolution from our special meeting? Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, my understanding was he signed one and vetoed the long term. Correct. Yeah. No, he no. vetoed the short term. Vetoed the short term and signed, signed the, the long, long term. term. Okay, thank you, Madam President. Um, I wasn't I would, sure which one. <laughs> I, I would just like to request that we add it to our agenda at our next regularly scheduled council meeting to consider the officially over. notified? He needs to officially notify us. Does it have to be a letter? There was an email. From Normally that's on our agenda. I think we got an email. Yes, I read that email. Yeah. Would that be yes. okay as a, if we got an email that's okay for official notification? Oh, yeah, I, I think so. Did, I'm not sure if the 10 days had run or the time had run well, by today. Well, we couldn't do it now, right. but we yeah, could put so. it on for the next meeting. Yeah, okay. but you might want to send him a letter and ask him to send you an actual letter that says with the original. Okay. So let's go ahead and put it on the agenda for the next meeting, but I'll have him, uh, we, I'll see if the mayor can send us a letter. Um, yeah, it, as opposed to just the email. But if, as long as that's an official notification, well, the email? The email is from Pam Hill. It's from the clerk of council, not from the mayor. He, uh, and that sounds like she yeah, said, just as an FYI, so the mayor vetoed the resolution for the six month management of the water system. Yeah. Well, he must we got it. Did he just write it on the ordinance? Yes. It doesn't address that. It's no, just the it's other one. Like okay. Information. Yeah. With that thing. Yeah. I'm just getting confused. No, no worries. Wrote it on the ordinance and did it back. Yeah, that would be. So he wrote his objections on the ordinance and submitted it to the clerk of council. And Mr. Moore, that is considered an official notification. That would be it. Yeah. All right. Okay. I just want to make sure that we are proceeding correctly so we will have the consideration of the override on the of the mayor's veto at the next meeting because we do have to wait 10 days so can you place that under unfinished business or new business yeah. new business I think. thank you any other new business We'll move on to communications. The first is a letter from Chuck Barlow regarding the earnings tax report. To Norwood City Council, attached is the monthly report for August 2019. Should you have any questions, please feel free to contact the tax department. Thank you, Chuck Barlow, tax commissioner. Mr. Clark. Thank you, Madam President. I need to receive and file the report. Seconded by Mr. Thompson. Is there any discussion? Mr. Sanker. Madam President, it might be uh, time to note that uh, to date the, uh, the actual revenue versus our, our 2019 projected revenue to date um, or through August is up about $530,000, uh, mostly through withholdings. Uh, net profits are down but uh, withholdings and, and individuals are up uh, slightly to, to create that difference. So 
hopefully the the, uh, the last quarter of the year um, we can maintain that type of uh, aggressive revenue and uh, finish strong at the end of the year. So, Thank you. Thanks. I agree. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Sanker. Is there any other discussion? The motion on the floor is to receive and file the letter. Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonzo. Yes. Mr. Clark. Yes. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Stevenson. Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan. Yes. Mr. Sanker. Yes. Mr. Brady. Yes, sir. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. Next is a letter from Mayor Williams regarding Mayor's Court fines for August 2019. Dear Madam President and members of Council, please, enclosed, please find the report for Norwood Mayor's Court for the month of August 2019. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Sincerely, Thomas F. Williams, Mayor, City of Norwood. Mr. Thompson. Move we receive and file the letter. Seconded by Ms. Stevenson. Is there any discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonzo. Yes. Mr. Clark. Yes. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Stevenson. Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan. Yes. Mr. Sanker. Yes. Mr. Breeden. Yes, sir. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. Next is a letter from Kelly Brown regarding August financials. Dear council members, this letter is to let you know that the August monthly financial reports were emailed to each council member on September 4th. If you have not received said email, please let me know so that I can verify your email address and also give you a copy of the reports. Sincerely, Kelly Brown, Account Clerk, Auditor's Office. Mr. Bonso. Thank you, Madam President. I move that the letter be received and filed. Seconded by Mr. Thompson. Is there any discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonzo. Yes. Mr. Clark. Yes. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Stevenson. Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan. Yes. Mr. Sanker. Yes, sir. Mr. Breeden. Yes, sir. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. We already dealt with the community center letter, so we'll move on to a letter <coughs> from Mayor Williams regarding update on the water towers. Dear Madam President and members of council, I had a conversation with council member Leslie Stevenson on a couple of issues and she requested that I provide council with an update on the water tower situation. To this point, we had been waiting for Dixon Engineering to schedule personnel and equipment to begin the process of evaluating and repairing the large tank. This process will begin shortly and will, of course, take place under the direct involvement of the Ohio EPA. Once that process is completed, the Ohio EPA, the City of Norwood, and Greater Cincinnati Water Works will meet on October 24, 2019. Sincerely, Thomas F. Williams, Mayor, City of Norwood. Ms. Stevenson. Thank you, Madam President. I move that we receive and file the letter. Seconded by Mr. Braden. Is there any discussion? Ms. Stevenson. Yes, thank you. So in our last, um, special, last special meeting, our last regular meeting, um, we as a body were acknowledging more or less that we hadn't heard anything from the mayor. And so my call to him today was to say, hey, we are having a regular meeting. This would be a great time to let us know what you know at this point. And so the minutes we approved did not indicate when the next meeting would be, but I do believe the date that we were given in the letter is when all the bodies who were mentioned in the previous communication from the city manager in Cincinnati are gathering. And so I just wanted to make sure we were keeping a trail, if you will, in terms of the bits of pizza, pieces of information we were receiving. Thank you, Ms. Stevenson. Is there any other discussion? Mr. Great. Oh, thank you, Madam President. I just want to, uh, I just want to thank Ms. Stevenson for that, for that uh, request. That's really uh, something that we needed. I appreciate that. Just want to let you know that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Braden. Any other discussion? Motion on the floor is to receive and file the letter. Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonzo. Yes. Mr. Clark. Yes. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Stevenson. Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan. Yes. Mr. Sanker. Yes, sir. Mr. Breeden. Yes, sir. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. We have no absent members. Ms. Stevenson. I move that we adjourn. Seconded by Mr. Thompson. Call the roll, please. Mr. Bonzo. Yes. Mr. Clark. Yes. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Stevenson. Yes. Mrs. Hanrahan. Yes. Mr. Sanker. Yes, sir. Mr. Breeden. Yes, sir. All members present voting aye. The motion carries. This meeting is hereby adjourned.